Another beautiful morning in the city of Bangkok, Thailand. Today, I'm staying at the Smile Inn. It's a nice little unassuming hotel. Very clean, very affordable. It's something that I definitely recommend. And it's off the beaten path, so you don't deal with a lot of noise problems like you do near Khao San or Rambutri Alley. If we take a walk down the little street that it's on, we find ourselves in, oh, this is a cool van. How come we don't get anything like that in America? These guys are making the best of their morning with a friendly game of chess. Anyway, if you make your way down the street, you'll find Bobay Tower, which is seven or eight floors of wholesale garments. Apparently, we are in the garment district, which unfortunately means more shopping. No! I can't... Uh, it's impossible to get away from shopping in Thailand. It's everywhere. But this is a good place to come in case you need to buy a boatload of t-shirts for some reason. And just outside of Bobay Tower is the rest of the garment district. All the streets here are lined with... Oh, watch, watch your step. Uh, there's people riding motorcycles on the sidewalk. But the streets are lined with clothing. It's breakfast time. This looks good. I don't actually even know what it is, but the ingredients look fresh. Oh, it's like an egg omelet. Yum. Egg and rice and ketchup, which I will enjoy eating in the ambiance of this noisy street. Anyway, let's uh, let's go exploring the neighborhood a little more, shall we? Ah, oh, look, I can go dumpster diving here in Thailand. No. This is a pretty cool gate, very ornamental. I guess it's the gateway to this massive intersection. And the Mint 400! The most fabulous motorcycle race in the desert. Oh, no. One thing I like to do when I visit a country is just walk around and get lost off the beaten path. I'm not even sure where the street is, but I guarantee you there are no tourists here at all. <laughs> it's Hitler. Hitler cat. Nine. Yeah? Oh. Uh, say nine. It's nine. Fiora. It's Fiora. Oh. You're a good kitty. Good kitty. There's the canal that we were walking right Ooh. next to. Alongside this very busy street. As we make our way to meet up with our Uber driver. He's taking us today to the Bangkok Railway Station. That's right, we're going to ride the rails in Thailand. This should be an interesting experience. Wow, this place is really noisy and really dirty. Can you say culture shock? Payphones! Look at this. SMS, an early version of payphone text messaging. And uh, just in case you didn't bring any, they have uh, these great condom dispensers. Here's something you don't see too often. A special segregated line for those pesky foreigners. We received some bad news at the ticket window. They were sold out of the train that we wanted to get on. So it looks like we will be riding in a very basic class. Oh, and bubble tea. Oh. Time to make our way toward the train. I'm about to take a train to a town called Ayuta. A this is the uh, Bangkok 
train station. This is where everybody travels from. So I'm gonna spend a night, a night or two in Ayutthaya, and then from there, I'm going on to Chiang Mai. So beautiful city, from what I've heard. Anyway, this train takes about an hour or two, from what I have heard, and um, the one to Chiang Mai is gonna take about 11. But let's go ahead and get on the train. Oh, that's my train over there, track seven. It's looking like this is going to be a very basic experience. Wow, these things are... What a bucket of bolts! Try to fit my suitcase here in between my seat. Open up this window. Uh, well, okay, maybe not. Well, at least I can sort of open the bottom portion. I don't know if I've talked about the temperature here but every day is like 100 degrees with 100% humidity. So this is gonna be an interesting train ride. At least the breeze blowing through all these windows should help to cool us down. Man, this thing is a rickety bucket of bolts. Look at how close the people build their little porches and homes next to the train tracks. I guess if you're a train lover, that makes for an exciting lifestyle. Only one more hour left of this. What is this massive thing that they're building? It's ginormous. And it's all concrete. I'm guessing this is gonna be a future freeway. It's a oh, it's triple decker. I guess two tiers will be traffic and maybe a third one for, for rail. Good morning, um, Thailand, how are you? Don't you know me, I'm your native son. Those are all the lyrics I remember for that song, but hey, I thought you'd enjoy a little railroad music to pass the time. I do find it interesting that you can just walk in between the cars and there's no doors and there's no safety devices you could easily fall out. Just creaking along. And after about an hour or so we are almost to our destination. And here we are, we finally made it to Ayutthaya. Now it's time to get to our hotel for this evening. And for the first time, I'm about to experience a ride on a tuk-tuk. A bright orange techno tuk-tuk. Wow, this is a very basic experience. You're sitting on a little bench in the back of one of these things and there's no bumper back here there's no seat belts you're just basically hanging on for dear life 
It's kind of thrilling. In a life-threatening sort of way. And down this little alleyway is our hotel for the evening. The Bon Eve Resort. Well, okay, it's not really a resort that was sort of false advertising. It's actually like some guy's house. But, you know, it's decent. It's affordable. It's reasonably clean, I guess. You got your typical mattresses, which in this country are always hard as a rock. I don't understand that. Motorcycle rentals, if you're so inclined. I don't know if they ask for a motorcycle driving license or not. Breakfast is available for an extra fee. There's a neat sort of treehouse up here that you can hang out in, and right below it, is a dining area. After traveling all day, I decided it was time to take a little nap. When I woke up, it was nighttime, and I thought, hey, I'll go venture out onto the main street and see the nightlife of this amazing city, which I gotta say is uh, pretty non-existent. So I'll wrap up today's vlog here. Thanks for watching. And go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss a future episode.